campers, I'm Ashley Spees, an instructor here at Starbase Martinsburg. For those of you who have visited us before, you probably know me best as Bond. Hopefully you had a chance to take a look at our video we posted earlier this morning of our STEM mystery science activity. Now, you might have been wondering as to why the three liquids stayed stacked the way they did, so we're going to be explaining that here right now. You can try this experiment at home if from your kitchen or your living room. All you need is a few simple things, and I'm going to show you. We have three drink varieties. You're going to want one drink that has 30 to 40 grams of sugar. Now, if you're not sure where to find that, it's actually listed on the nutrition label under your sugars. So for our purposes today, we're going to be using cranberry juice. However, you also could substitute that for grape juice, uh, cran apple juice, lemonade, anything with that same sugar content, anywhere from like 30 to 40 grams of sugar. The second liquid we have here is Hawaiian punch. Again, you could use other drinks, just make certain that there are 15 to 20 grams of sugar present. And then lastly, we have our zero grams of sugar, so no sugar at all. Um, you can use vitamin water, um, Gatorade, and then we're using Powerade Zero. Again, just make certain that the sugar content is zero. Once you have your liquids, you then will need a cup. Now we have here just like a plastic nine ounce cup. You could use one that's larger or smaller. Just keep in mind then you're gonna need different amounts of liquids. So you can see here, I've already poured out um, some liquids into little three ounce cups. You don't need these. I just didn't wanna have to pour from a larger container. I know that I would make a mess. So once you have your materials, you also need ice. You can see here I filled my cup completely. That's just going to allow us to pour the liquid slowly. That is the key here. We don't want to mix them quickly because then we take the risk of them mixing together. So my cup is filled with ice. I'm going to start off with my first liquid, which is the cranberry juice. You're going to want to envision your cup split into thirds. So we're going to carefully and slowly pour the liquid in over the ice until we are about one third of the way full. Again, make sure you do this slowly. Even though now it's not gonna affect it, this will be good practice. So that looks good. Now we're gonna do or add in our 15 to 20 grams of sugar content. For us, this was our Hawaiian punch. So we're gonna do that slowly over the ice and you should start to see the distinction in the layers here. So we're gonna pour that in to about two thirds of the way full. And if you go a little past, it's quite okay. So that looks to be maybe good there. And then lastly, we're going to add in our zero grams of sugar drink. So for us, that's our Powerade. And you can see that one ice cube starting to really melt. So I'm going to go over to another. Again, pour really slowly over the ice. And as you pour, you should then start to see this distinctive layer. Now, I didn't mention this before, but when selecting your drinks, you definitely can choose a variety of colors. However, I would not choose, let's say, blue for the top and blue for the middle layer because you're not going to be able to see that distinction then. So here we've chosen three colors. You can clearly see we have our red, our white, and our blue. Pretty patriotic. So now that you know how to create your very own density drink, let's kind of talk about what's actually going on, the science behind the density layers. So as you just heard me say, the science here is density. Now density can be expressed as an equation, mass per volume, where mass is simply the amount of particles in an object, and volume is how much space that object is taking up. So for our drink here, our cranberry juice has the highest sugar content, therefore it is the most dense, most mass per volume. The punch has 15 to 20 grams of sugar. It is more dense than our Powerade, but less dense than the very bottom layer, which is your cranberry juice. And then lastly, your Powerade has zero grams of sugar. It has the lowest density, less mass per volume. All right, so you might be thinking, could you pour the liquids at a different order, all right? Now, the answer is yes, you could. However, you're gonna need some patience and a good amount of time because let's say we pour the Powerade first and then you pour the Hawaiian Punch. Eventually, over time, all right, I'm talking like several hours, they would separate into their respective layer, all right? We did it this way just so it's a little bit faster and that's why it was very key to pour slowly. That way, they're not mixing together. If they mix together, they would eventually separate, but it's gonna take some time, all right? Now, we would love for you guys to kind of try this at home. Like I said, it does not have to be the same drinks that I have here as long as you have the sugar content as listed. 30 to 40 grams, 15 to 20, and then zero grams. All right, so if you get a chance to do this, we love to see your creations. Snap a photo and then tag them in the comments below. 
And then, don't forget, the best part of this experiment is to actually drink your creation.